If you like our video, click the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses and training materials, visit us at teachucomp.com. QuickBooks Online Plus makes changing item prices easy. To change the price of an item, click the Settings button in the QuickBooks Online toolbar. Then click the Products and Services link under the Lists heading in the drop-down menu. In the Products and Services list, find the item whose price you want to change, and then click the Edit link under the Action column in that item's row to open the item's product service information pane. In the Sales Price or Rate field, change the existing price to the new price. When finished, select a Save option from the Save drop-down button to save your changes. Alternatively, you can use the Price Rules feature, which is in beta stage as of this writing, and if using QuickBooks Online Plus or higher, to create pricing rules that automatically change the prices of selected products and services for selected customers. When using price rules, the rate of the item is changed when using the item in a sales form, so it doesn't show any actual discount in the sales form itself. However, it is very easy to use and changes the rate based on the item's default price so it is a convenient way to apply item discounts for selected customers if showing the discount in the form isn't required. To enable price rules in QuickBooks Online Plus or higher, click the Settings button in the QuickBooks Online toolbar. Then select the Account and Settings command under the Your Company heading in the drop-down menu to open the Account and Settings window. Click the Sales category in the menu at the left side of the window. Then click the Products and Services section to the right to edit those settings. Then click the Turn on Price Rules toggle switch to set it to the On position. Then click the Save button at the bottom of this section to save your changes. Then click the Done button in the lower right corner of the Account and Settings window to close it. To view your price rules, open the Price Rules page by clicking the More drop-down button that appears towards the upper right corner of the Products and Services page after adding items and then selecting the Price Rules command from the Buttons drop-down menu. Alternatively, you can click the Settings button in the QuickBooks Online toolbar, select the All Lists command under the List setting, and then click the Price Rules link in the Lists page that appears. To create your first new price rule, Click the Create a Rule button in the middle of the Price Rules page to open the Create a Price Rule window. After that, to create a new price rule in the Price Rules page, click the New Price Rule button in the upper right corner of the page to open the same Create a Price Rule window. First, type a name for the price rule into the Rule Name field. To choose to which customers to apply the price rule, select a choice from the Customer drop-down. Choices include all customers, select individually, and any customer types you have created. Your selected customer choices then appear on the Customers tab below the rule. However, if you choose the Select Individually choice, you must then click the Add Customer button that appears in the Customers tab below the rule to add a new customer row to the tab. Then use the Customer drop-down in the new row to select the customer to add. Repeat these last two steps until you have added all the desired customers to select onto the Customers tab. You can also click the Trash Can icon button under the Exclude Customer column in any row to remove the customer from this tab if needed. To then choose to which items to apply the price rule, select a choice from the Products and Services drop-down. Choices include All Products and Services, all item types that you have created, select individually, and any product categories you have created. Your selected item choices then appear on the Products and Services tab below the rule. However, if you choose the Select Individually choice, you must then click the Add Product or Service button that appears in the Products and Services tab below the rule to add a new item row to the tab. Then use the Products drop-down in the new row to select the item to add. Repeat the last two steps until you've added all the desired items to select onto the Products and Services tab. 
You can also click the trash can icon button under the exclude product column in any row to remove the item from this tab if needed. To then select the price adjustment for the selected items for the selected customers, make a choice from the price adjustment method dropdown. If you select percentage, then use the adjacent percentage dropdown to select either increase by or decrease by, and then enter the desired percentage into the following percent field. If you select fixed amount, then use the adjacent fixed amount dropdown to select either increase by or decrease by, and then enter the desired fixed amount into the following field. If you select the custom price per item choice, then enter a custom price for each item on the products and services tab below the rule within the adjusted price column that appears. To round prices, if you select either the percentage or fixed amount choice, then use the rounding dropdown to choose your preferred method of rounding the calculated prices. After making changes to the prices using the fields that appear after selecting either the percentage or fixed amount choices from the price adjustment method dropdown, you can click the apply rule button at the right end of the rule to show the newly calculated item prices in the adjusted price column on the products and services tab below the rule. Optionally to set a start date and an end date for the price rule, Click into either the Start Date or End Date Calendar drop-down fields and then select the desired dates. To save the new price rule, click the Save button in the lower right corner of the window. To save the price rule and then either close the window to return to the price rules page or create another new rule, select either Save and Close or Save and New from the drop-down button in the lower right corner of the window. To cancel creating the price rule, click the X button in the upper right corner of the window and then click Yes when asked to confirm you want to leave without saving your changes. When you return to the price rules page and see your rules appear in the price rules list, note that the actions available from the actions column in the list include edit to change the settings for the price rule in the edit a price rule window, which is the same as the create a price rule window as well as the make inactive command that lets you inactivate it. When a price rule is in effect and you select a customer and item affected by the price rule in a sales form, the item's rate is automatically recalculated according to the pricing of the rule. And it appears as the default rate in the sales form. However, if needed, you can also click the drop down arrow that then appears in the rate field in the sales form to select a choice of any other applicable calculated price levels to apply, like the default sales rate, if needed. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. Get ad-free courses at teachucomp.com.